Hello, I'm Brad Blondbeard, and today I'd like to continue my quest to improve at melee weaving. Uh, I did some yesterday, and I thought that was really good. I got some new weak auras and uh, the weapon swing timer, just so that I can have things be a little bit more organized and really measure uh, what I'm doing so that I can improve. Because if you're trying to get better at something, it's nice to be able to know if you're actually getting better at it or not. And so I thought one thing that I'd do today is I'd continue uh, gathering this information and then I'd, I'd like for, to take the, the information that I have today and also get the information that I did yesterday uh, by checking through my VOD and in, adding that information into a spreadsheet to keep track of it and then performing some analysis on it. So then I can really say with some sort of uh, certainty that yeah, I actually have been improving on this thing. Because this is something that uh, I've been doing mainly weaving a little bit, but um, without any sort of real way to measure it, it's hard to say, like, uh, if you're doing well, you just say, oh, I, I think I'm doing okay. Uh, there has been a little bit of confusion that I have uh, as well with some of the weak auras. Uh, it, that it seems like a couple of them are not really doing what I expect them to do, so I'll have to look into that too. Um, on the weak auras, uh, this, uh, this one right here, the Timing History Plugin, let's get this elevator, right here, it should keep track of how long my weaves take me. That one and also, uh, get my guys out. And also the Hunter Efficiency, um, Weak Aura, those two should be just telling me how much time I spend on doing my weaves. And I'm also trying to get a better understanding of what all the different add-ons do. So, here, this, you know, 3.76, 3.72, 3.72 here, these numbers should add up whenever I add all these together. But when I, let's take a moment and let's just add up all these numbers. You know, I'll just get my calculator out. So the point, oops, point five five two plus point eight six. Oh my goodness, point five five two. Thank you. All right, keyboard. Let's try that again. Point five five two plus point eight six nine plus point three eight four plus point four one plus point eight eight four plus point three four seven. When I add all those to get up, up together, I get 3.446, which is obviously different from this 3.72 and this 3.72 here. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, this actually, no, this this could be the reason. So the green line is here. So that's not like a completed weave. So let's, let's see if we can get one that's like a, just a complete weave going. So we're in the sweet spot. Get that back. Shoot off. Get the melee off. Sweet spot. Go back in. Okay. Hmm. So this is uh, this is probably a big problem with my uh, data gathering technique is that these are mobs that uh, they have a lot. They don't have very much health, right? This is why. This is one of the reasons why, if you're trying to improve, you should probably be using like doing this in like a dire mall. Uh, north near the king where you have those ogre spirits that you can just keep hitting forever Because then you could actually do this do this uh, data collection a little bit better I, My, my data is going to be polluted because at, when you look at the green number That's telling you what step you're on and so like for a full weave your the green number should be down here at the bottom Because that means that you've completed the entire weave so this 3.06 is telling me uh how much that last one took should be. So let's see if we can get that figured out again. I'm trying to look more at my predictive weave bar as well. And so I think we're just gonna end it right there, okay. And we're gonna see, no, stop, <laughs> no. Uh, this is the problem with my data collection method here. Yeah. I think it could still be useful in a way. Like, I can still use the... 
I can still use these here to try to gauge how well I'm doing. And this is with no movement speed at all. Um, and melee weaving, if you're, say, in a raid environment, it's it can be useful to get some movement speed. But here, let's see if we can do this here. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. And then I went too far. Okay. Facing, now I'm too far away. All right. So this one was really bad. And now I'm too far away. And these, these mobs run too, which makes it even worse. These mobs are not good at all. Okay. So I'll probably have to find, uh, I want to find stationary mobs. And if I'm trying to, if I'm really trying to gather information, do I need to go a level lower? Uh, then I should probably stop melee weaving when it when it appears that I won't get another weave in. Didn't even have Hulk on her then, nice. Yeah, so I've been trying to just trying to get more information on these melee weaves so I can f find out if I'm doing better, but I really need to be able to do a complete weave each time. If I'm not doing a complete weave each time, then I can't really use the data for these that well, I think. I don't know where I'm going to these elevators, but we'll find out. Yeah, I certainly wasn't expecting that. What's the point of these elevator systems? Okay. Can I go down? These, these, this, this, this zone, the whole cauldron thing, it confuses me just as much as melee weaving. You know what? Like, I just don't know what I'm doing. But uh, that's how that's how things work. You don't know what you're doing, and then you mess around until eventually you find something out. That's the plan, anyways. So, like... This just goes around here. Like, I haven't been able to find, like, a single place where you're supposed to go. Okay. So this just goes here, and there's just this little cave where this guy is. Right? There's nothing... What is, what is this? Yeah, this is just this cave where this guy is. How do you get... How are you supposed to get to, like, the cave entrances that are all around here? Is that one? Is there a cave entrance right there? Let's just go ahead and jump down and see. Okay. Alright. So like this Taskmaster, for example. Oh, okay. Theoretically, I should be able to melee him pretty decently. And there's there's a lot of information going on on me here. Oh, the slave workers run away. How nice. So I missed that one. Uh, it's too far away. All right, going back and forth. I'm trying to really look. One thing, I was wondering what the purpose of the predictive bar is. That's the one that's in the middle, just above where it's a sweet spot. That's the one where it uh, it goes from the left to the right, and then the right to the left. Oh, no, I messed it up. Okay. So let's just start. Let's stop there. So that was like... That was an example where it, it should, everything here should up, add up to there if I'm doing it correctly. So let's, let's find out. Why did I stop? As long as I don't move, it shouldn't trigger anything. Okay, great. So let's look at that. 1.044 plus 0.961 plus 0.346 plus 0.512 plus 1.976 plus 0.225. 5.064. No, did I mess it up again? I think I messed it up again. I think uh, I think that auto shot, that auto shot messed it up. Yeah, really gonna need some work to try. If I'm trying to, to really get the information the way that I want it, I need. I'm gonna have to keep uh, doing more work until I figure out like a way to really make sure that my data collection methodology makes sense. Oops. Okay. Now see, like, this here, this is a version of melee weaving, right? I'm weaving in my auto attacks, or weaving in my melee in between my auto shots. A uh, very simple version, right? And this is the kind, this is the kind of melee weaving that you can do starting level 10. As soon as you have a pet, you can do this. 
much better. I need a target. That's still charging. Oh, get that guy. Attack, please. Okay. Man. Oh, the shot took a long time to go off. Hmm. Let's see if I can get somebody who's actually going to stay still a little bit. Okay. You. Stay there. And let me shoot you. Okay. So here we go. Gonna really try. Focus. Look at my bars. Get in there. And then. Okay. Wait. Why is it saying I'm on that step? Man. Like it was. I saw that. I looked at it after I shot and it went up to here. So I'm really not understanding. I mean, even without the components, if you're seeing the, the weave times over here, like theoretically you should be able to get them down to sound around 2.4 is what I read on the classic Wild WoW Hunter Discord. Which of course, every time I can, I'll say, please go there. Get a lot of information about how to do this correctly. That's where I get all my information from. I'm looking at that predictive bar. Okay, right there. If I don't do anything else, this should be fine. Okay, now he's gonna run away. Can I just feign death? Interesting. Okay. So if I just take these numbers that I have right here, I hope that that should add up. So 0.413 plus 0.834 plus 0.452 plus 0.389 plus 0.844 plus 0.337. Three. Wait, what? 413 plus 834 plus 452 plus 389 plus 844 plus 337. I get exactly three. I get exactly three. And yet here it says 3.27. And that's the same as this. So I'm wondering if I if there actually is just something wrong with one of the interactions with one of the, the communications or how this week or is picking things up. Hmm. Because they should be the same. I was looking at some of the videos. I did find one where um, uh, Six Fury was uh, was doing the melee weaves and he, uh, he had this on there. Six had this on there. And Six also had this and this on there. So all the information was there and it all added up correctly. But for some reason, when I'm doing it, it's not adding up. So I don't know what's going on. I'll have to, maybe I'll, I, 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 I'm going to keep trying to do it. And then I'm going to ask in the Discord and see if anybody has any idea. One person said that they were like trying to do this and they restarted their computer and it worked. So that, I might try that. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's going to be able to help me troubleshoot this. Because I, I looked up like this, the name of this one, the timing. Nope. Uh, the timing history plugin to see if anybody had mentioned that and if they did mention it it wasn't like precisely by name so i'm not quite sure what's going on there I'm trying to do the uh i think it's part of like the rise obsidian line here i think i'll have to go down here but i'm not really i'm actually not sure dwarven justice yes yes indeed okay get that shot off melee weave Get that shot off. Melee weave. Okay, just really trying to focus as much as I can on doing it correctly. Okay, so that, and see that, that's at 3.19, which is not that good. Look at him go. What level is that guy? Look at him, he's, he's doing some melee. And, you know, that counts as melee weaving in a way, except, uh, you know, it's just kind of delayed. So let's, again, add these numbers up and see if we can get it to match. 0.384. Oops, that wasn't right. 0.384 plus 0.843 plus uh, 0.454 plus 0.413 plus 0.844 plus 0.254. I get 3.192. Okay, that one matched. Okay, so that may have been correct. So, that's, But that's the first one. That's the first one that I've seen that, that matches completely. And if I have my data set 
that I'm trying to do this analysis on, I'm not sure if I'm gonna want something that, that, that is that polluted. Not quite sure. Altar of thing, okay. All right, help that guy. Well, not release that. Yeah. In the hills above the cave, Twilight's Hammer Guard Relic. Okay. Okay. Northwest Quadrant. Is this? Oh, okay. So I can't do that yet. Okay, get in there. And so, I think what the I was wondering what the purpose of the predictive weave bar is in the middle there because it, it seemed like maybe not that helpful but I think the idea there is it's easier it's predictive it's trying to help you know when you should do things and because you've got the range you've got the range bar down here this range checker and if you're just reacting to that then you have a reaction time. Whereas if you have the bar here moving, then you should be able to predict and you should have a better idea of when you can stop. So let's check one more time and see if this one uh, adds up to what it should do. So 0.218 plus 0.858 plus 0.385 plus 0.423 plus 0.868 plus 0.288. 3.04? Okay, and that's what we're getting here. I'm not sure why it does it two times. So it's got 2.04 here. I'm not sure if like, uh, there's an option that I checked actually that, let's see if we can go get that thorium actually. Yeah, let's go over there. That uh, sends information from uh, one of these to this. So I'm not not sure if, if that might have something to do with it. That would, that kind of makes sense to me as to why there would be two. But uh, as far as I can tell, everybody that's what everybody recommends to do, so... Man, that it fast. I feel like if these guys were that fast all the time, they probably could just run away from all the slavers, right? Okay, start that. And I'm just I'm just trying to work on my fundamentals. Like, that, that, that was obviously a bit too slow. And that was obviously terrible. And, oh, he, these guys net my pet. I don't like that. Come back over here. So my pet can hit you. Okay. Does it? And I think the net drops aggro too. Like I'm really just trying to work on my fundamentals right now. So I'm not even going to be using my shots, unless maybe we're against elites or something, which I think we are going to be actually here in just a little bit. Okay. Get this started here. And like, okay, yes, I do understand why there's a delay. Now, I, I'm gonna have to re- I think I'm gonna have to rework my keybinds. Because the button that I use to move when I strafe is the same button that I use to initiate my attack. So that's not gonna work. That won't work. If I want this to be like as efficient as possible, I'm definitely gonna have to re rework my keybinds. Because you can't strafe can't strafe like that. That's not working. Hmm. So how will I do that? Rework my keybind so that... Huh. That's, uh... But see, like... That's part of why I was... I was doing this. Like, I want to do it, and I want to see what I can improve. And I was noticing that my attack in melee took quite a while. Like, look at this. This this is, like, way higher than it has to be. Like, they, that should be zero, theoretically. Like, these could, like, theoretically be almost zero, and so could the greens. So the greens, I feel like maybe that's just a timing thing, paying maybe more attention to the, the auto shot timer there. And the the meleeing part, I'm gonna have to figure out a different keybind. So normally I go in, I favor this, I favor this. Maybe I should go this way. Yeah, maybe I should go like that. So if I go in here, so I'm in the sweet spot, get this guy, and then immediately turn, and then come back. 
and then get him, and then go like that. Yeah, that might be a little bit better. A little bit better. Gonna have to rework the muscle memory, is one thing. So it's gonna be rough for a little bit, because I absolutely have to rework my muscle memory, because I've been doing it one way for a while. Okay. And also my... Yeah. Ooh. Gonna have to figure out everything, basically. Okay, so that one was just straight... Let's make sure that the just that the add-on's working correctly. I don't have any issues. I mean, it's probably that it was always working correctly, and I just didn't know. I just didn't understand how it worked. Like that's usually if, if if something seems wrong to me, a lot of times it's just that my understanding is poor, and I need to figure out how to understand things better. Let's look at this again. Point two 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 plus point eight four nine plus point two nine. Oops. 3 plus 0.296 plus 0.848 plus 0.337. 2.845. Okay, so yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's not, it's not, it's not the add-on that's the problem. It's me that's the problem. Okay. Yes, and that, I mean, that's something that I've, I've definitely noticed about myself. Like, I'll, I'll, like, I'll think I'm right about something, and it's not, it's not that I'm right. I just am not understanding things, so... Is, it, is this way the way out? No, that's not the way out. Okay, gotta get this guy. Stop. Stay still. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. And then back in. Oh, facing the wrong way. Target too close. So that was pretty bad. I missed two on that. And because I missed them, I don't think they even showed up here correctly at all. Because I didn't even I didn't get the melee weave off. I, I didn't get the melee attack off. Okay, so here we're in the sweet spot. Trying to figure out a way to take care of this. Okay, and then we're in the sweet spot again. There's the thing. And then the sweet spot. And then it's really trying to just as quickly as I can, looking at the uh, uh, auto shot bar down there. Okay, so that didn't uh, that didn't even so still still not even into like the good category. I think. I mean, you can you can kind of like I could put cheetah on, right? And that would reduce cheetah would reduce. Oops. Nothing if I get dazed. <laughs> if I get dazed, nothing's going any faster. Okay. Get that. And then back in range. I'm trying to, like, cut down the... Um... The auto shot timing, like, as much as possible. By looking at the... Uh, weapon swing timer. Like, I'm trying to, like predict when it's going to go out. Yeah. So you can see there that because of that it, it took a really long time. These mobs running away is really awkward. Like, what's my DPS look like when I do, like, 119? Pretty poor. <laughs> Not surprising. Whenever, whenever all I'm doing is the weaving, and I'm not using my... I'm, the thing is, when I'm weaving... Exclusively, I'm not using any of my shots, right? Not using multi-shot, not using aim shot. But right now, I'm still just trying to improve my fundamentals, and then you can work in the other things. This small thorium. I've seen a few sm small thoriums. Makes me wonder if like nobody really uh, cares about small thorium, like as far as like farming and stuff. And why would they, really? You can just easily uh, go get uh, the the large thorium veins, like, and say, I don't know, where do where you go? Winter Spring, for example, probably? Everlook? Yeah, Winter Spring is where Everlook's at. And, like, look at, look at the comparison of DPS, right? 
So if I just look at the current segment, like, you know, roughly 200 DPS whenever. Oh, they have a bleed. I could use my Lufa. Well, I was too late, but I could have. But I'm a, I'm a, I can turn into a stone. So Lufa, not that great <laughs> on a dwarf. But, you know, I, yeah, maybe I use stone form and then that's got a three minute cooldown. And that's got a three minute cooldown. So, hey, like, you know. There's gonna be three minutes where I, I could use that and save myself a little damage. How did I get a 2.44? At the very least I could, I, for my data, at the very least I could use this, right? And I could just say, uh, because what I wanted to do was to get like the components and add all that into a spreadsheet and then use that information to like run some analysis, you know? You know, you can get the, you know, the basic statistics, right? Like the, the inner quartile range, Q1, Q2, Q3. Uh, you can get the min, max, average, uh, median. Run some, some basic, oh, what is that called? Um, oh, shoot. What is that sort of basic statistical analysis called? It's got a name. And then, like, the more advanced, right, is just, like, say, regressions. Univariate? Is univariate univariate uh, analysis the right word? And then like multivariate for the regression? Oh man, it's been, it's, I can't remember. Okay, so these guys, they just, is it just anybody that drops these? For the, this quest here? Did I get the, uh, did I get the, okay, I have that. I can go do that too. Release them, mysterious artifact. Northwest Quadrant. Uh, uh huh. The altar. Yeah. So that's like up here a bit. I saw the altar up there. And so those guys are elite, so I actually will use my full range of abilities on them. One of these I did really good. Now, see this, but this 2.44, right? That was with me literally in melee range. Like 2.44, that means that. I mean, that's why it was so good. Now I'm thinking back on it. That's when I was in melee range. I can't. You can't. Like literally impossible to do any better than that, right? What's in that cave? I want to go in the cave. I don't know if there's anything in the cave worth going in there though. But I want to, because I see a cave. I want to explore it. I want to let my inner dwarf slash archaeology slash you know brand bronze beard sort of a uh, being out. Here's an altar, right? I thought the geomancer did. Ooh. <laughs> He's just out. Oh, my pet needs food. Do I have anything low level to give him? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Wait, I didn't equip that? Oh, I got another one? Oh, nice. When did that happen? When did I get the journeyman backpack? I wasn't even paying attention. Just looking through my like chat log. I I mean, what? When did I get that? I have no idea. But I don't know when I got this gun either. I just want to really, I really just want to pay that much attention. This is the long and short of it. Okay, so let's get this guy. Okay. Start attacking. Get my melee weave in. Trying to really think hard about what I'm doing. Okay, that was a mistake. And then that was actually also a mistake. Because I didn't uh, use my aim shot. Okay. There's also these kind of awkward barrel thingies. And I wonder how the... I do wonder how like the um, multi-shot kind of fact factors into this. And the reason I ask is like, when you cast multi-shot, like, if if you, uh, you can do ulti-shot, you can do, hey, is that wrong? Is it wrong to do like, auto-shot multi-shot? When I look at the, hmm. When I, when I look at what people post as the melee weave thing, it seems like it should be, yeah. It should be like, auto-shot, aim-shot, auto-shot, melee weave. Auto shot, multi shot. Auto shot, aimed, right? 
Okay. I'm in the dead zone. All right. Let's go ahead and start this up. We have my aim shot off, and then immediately that goes off. Get my melee lead. Okay, get that off. Okay. Now, see, that should have been an aim shot. It's going to take a lot more practice. The whole thing... Ooh. Cut off my... Um, aim shot. That's not good. Okay. And my owl is dead. Oh no. That uh, that poor performance literally cost the life of my owl. Okay, and there's the thing that I need. There's the idolaters. Oh no. That's sad. My uh, my poor DPS killed my owl. How unfortunate. It's, well, it's not unfortunate, it's just, it's just bad. <laughs> like, there wasn't really any luck. I mean, there were, you know, there was somewhat, right? But for the most part, it was just, just bad. Just bad skill. Need to get good. I just fed my owl, and I gotta feed him again. How much are these huge emeralds worth? Someone was saying they're worth quite a bit. Oh. Four gold, three and a half gold, four gold. Overall, five gold for the region. Pretty reasonable. But look at these, but look at these weed times, you know, pretty good. Except this one, the 6.8, I think that was probably when I... Is anybody else going to pad up here? That's what I wonder about. And if, can I just pull this guy by himself? Twilight artifact, that's in the middle there. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if we can get this going here. Okay. And that... Than that. Now aim shot. I remember to do aim shot and let it go off. And then basically, as soon as it's done, I can get in here for another multi shot. Now I get another aim shot. Doing all my practice. When I do the practice, and my practice makes it so that I'm not doing any aim, any shots. Uh, it's it's a bit difficult. Twilight Geomancer. Not sure. Is this is this person gonna pull everything? That's my big question. I don't want to pull everything. If I can, I would just like to pull one guy. And then maybe just run. Let's actually go to like to max range. And then see. What did I pull? Okay, I just pulled one guy. That's not bad. And I resisted that shot. Nice. Did my auto shot get off there? I couldn't tell, actually. And then it looks like that didn't get off either. Pretty bad. But the casters, especially with the big cooldown, not, not too bad. Okay. Let's see if I can pull just this one. That's what I would like to do. Yeah. Easy. Okay. And now we'll start our weaving. No, I, I interrupted that auto shot. I messed that up. I'm trying to just do it as quick as I can, but that's making uh, that's making me have some mistakes too. There we go. That was a little bit better. Okay, I missed that. Didn't get. Was I facing the wrong way? I think I was facing the wrong way on that one. Hello? Ah, I get dazed. Alright, well that's fine. I think it's uh I think it's time to do some bandaging for myself at least here. Now can I get in there without pulling anybody? I wonder. I guess I'll drink too, just just in case something goes wrong here. Not sure. I'm, I'm kind of high level, so I might be able to get in there. I'm kind of curious about this situation here. That's two guys. Hmm. Right, he's all 51. That one's all 49. Well, I, can, I think I'll wait on my cooldowns and I'll just try really hard to get both of them. 
That's that's my plan. And then after that, I think I should be able to like just come in this way. Yeah. Let's invite this guy. Okay, let's do it. Let's kill this guy. And we'll just get in there. Smashed. Ah, uh, that was a mistake. But, uh, I think we'll be okay. I shouldn't jump, really, ever. But I like to. Dang it. Oh, uh, no! That's not cool. Okay. Am I gonna be in range for this? I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Give me a break, guy. I don't know why he's having such a hard time with me. What is that? Strength? Well, that might be good for him, I don't know. Ow. Ow. Bad. Not good. That lava hurts. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, this kind of messes with seeing that, but that's okay, I think. So I'll pull that guy to you. The. This guy here, I guess it was, that pulled, right? Bandage myself, should have fed my pet first. I got a little over eager there. I was like, oh, we got this guy and everything's gonna be just fine. But, uh. <laughs> you should have taken it a little bit slower. They are. I think that if, if you want to trap one. Uh, sure. I can try. That person just came by himself, so. Now I'm in this awkward medium range, right? That feels bad. And there, okay. Interrupted? How did that get interrupted? Yeah, definitely need to just keep just keep working on it. That was nice. That guy should be fine. Hmm. Get into medium range, sweet spot. There we go. Okay. Let's try this some more. Just keep trying it until we get it. You know, even though it takes a lot of focus, uh, I think we'll get there. Really trying to look at those. Look at those bars. It's a lot of bars to process all at once, really. It says I'm in combat. I'm not sure why. My, my pet's not in combat, is it? Yeah, it's not. It's... Okay, let's see if we can clear this out here. I'll try to trap one, just in case. No. Nah. As it turns out, neither of those are actually a... Uh, Double pulls the, the... Oh no. Yeah, that feels really bad. He moved just a little bit, and that was actually enough to make me not be able to do it. Okay. There's my multi-shot. Okay. Oh, there's a guy here. I didn't even see that. Uh, person in the cage. Didn't see that at all at first. Oh, dead zone. Still dead zone. Alright. Let's see. Here, you wanna. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's invite this person. Invite. 
Y'all, you all, you all want to join groups? How are you supposed to get this? How are you supposed to click on that? Yeah, but how? <laughs> how do I get the thing in the middle? What brings you here? Okay. Jump onto the stone. Oh, onto it? Really? May the stars guide you. Okay. Yeah, this guy does some stuff. I saw this hunter before. Okay. I am listening. Uh huh. Find the prayer of a loon and take it to this thing. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, so it's just one of just one of those things there. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, what? Can we work? Can we work, like work work this together here? Oh, there's some thorium. I'll get that. Oh, that guy's done. Uh, yeah, so... Okay. Let's see. Do we get the... Idolators next? Where's that? Golden tap that prayer. Okay. All right. While we're doing this, I'll just try to a little bit too close. Okay. I'll just use this time to try to focus on improving my. That was a little bit too far. Why has my pet decided to not? This warrior moves around a bunch too, I feel like. Okay. How's that? This is really awkward f placement for like when there's parties. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep working at it. There we are. Okay. Oh, like a lot of people here. Ouch! That AoE fireball. It stings. So there's one here. Okay. There we go. Nope. Okay, really need to focus on doing these shots on these guys. Sorry, it's like really hard to focus, man. Wow, when you're like really trying to get better at something, trying to think about what you're doing is tough, man. It's not as relaxing. <laughs> it's just, you know, the nice thing, the night, one of the nice things about melee moving is it's very engaging. Um, whereas the normal, of course, the normal, uh, say, rotation for um, a hunter is pretty basic it's just a lot of auto shots with occasionally doing occasionally doing some other stuff in there you know get your aim shot and your multi shot but you, you just completely stand still but but this uh yeah here can we uh, let's reset all data i want to see how much this warrior is doing 
I think this isn't going to work very well if we're both trying to... Like, if it's a quest item, we should just join groups, right? Did that guy leave? No, he's still here. He just went down here. More in this cave. Okay, I'm coming. Are there more idolaters? Idol idolaters? Idol uh, idolaters? Idolaters? How do you say that word? I don't know. Is that the ZG mount? Gosh. Actually, maybe the maybe the ZG mount is is not that uncommon. Let's see. I've seen uh I've seen like three people with it. I mean, maybe a lot of people are doing ZG right now. I mean, some of them got to get them out, right? Well, that's an elemental. Let's see. I don't see any humanoids. I'm tracking. Alright. Well, I don't know, but is Questy, is Questy able to like pick up, say... Um, different levels of things, or is that like they could be they could be maybe somewhere up here? I want to kind of look at who drops this thing. Yeah. Also, I want to keep doing more weaving. Dang it! <laughs> that's, that's what I really like to do: get more information. At the very least, I could keep I could be comparing my numbers. Like that that part, at least I can always come back and look at these. There's nothing up here. Well, I wouldn't say nothing, but is that what is, what's up there? Is that uh, Dunmoreau? Yeah. Just go, just go to where the, all the lobbies are. And now I kind of just want to be on the mountain. What? What? No! No, there's an invisible wall there. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get to have some fun for sure, but Blizzard, Blizzard. Just comes in here and says, no fun. This is a no fun zone, okay? Is he getting anybody? He's getting that guy. Okay. I will help. Okay, look at that. There's the melee weave coming here. Okay. See, let me let me check who drops this. What's the name of this quest? Uh, release them? No, prayer to a loom. Real quick, prayer to a loom. Check this out. There's a guy. Get that off. Now I can move a little bit. That was a questionable melee weave, I would say, right there. <laughs> if I should have gone in for that. It looks like everybody drops from. See, also. Uh, yeah. Where did the guy go? Guy, right, come on, let's go. Let's get guys. No. Ooh, that was really bad. <laughs> I missed on the way there, and I missed on my my uh, auto shot. That was really not good. I'm getting kind of close, like maybe over close. Oh, that's find the prayer to a loon. Yes, dropped by everybody. Okay, yeah. So everybody drops them. It for me be well. Okay, well, all right, sure. We can do that. Oh, this is kind of a pain now. Kind of a pain. I gotta do this myself now. Hmm. Well, it will, uh, I think, help me work on my melee weave a little bit better. That should have been an aim shot, by the way. If you're keeping track at home. 
adding the adding the shots into it, I think makes it makes it a pretty different experience. Okay. Next one is aim shot. Well, next one should just be the auto, and he's dead. Okay. These guys do a fair amount of damage to me, in my pet. Fair amount. So like the hunter efficiency things here, they, they help you try to figure out if you're doing stuff all right. But uh, I'm not doing stuff very all right. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not going against the same mob. Like it's uh it's it's kind of tough to be telling what's going on there. All right, so I can definitely I can definitely go down lower too, and there'll be more. Well, th uh, theoretically, there'll be more. At least they can spawn down here. There's a fire guard. There's a shaman. So I got to go in the cave. It didn't really look like there was a whole lot in there. Maybe you could uh, farm some like... Um, uh, what's it called? Elemental water in there. Please? Pet. Yeah, I could have done a multi-shot there, and then I did a multi-shot. But then I could have done, instead of a multi-shot, I could have done an aim shot. Uh, double crit, that feels nice. Oh, please. Ooh. Okay. It's nice whenever mobs get down to a certain health, you know, they just start kind of slowly going. Oh, I feel like a mage. I'm just drinking after everything. After every fight. Living that mage life. Whenever I use, like, aim shot. Aim shot is good because it does a lot of damage, but it also takes a lot of mana. I feel like. And, of course, multi-shot, too. What is the mana? I haven't actually checked the mana efficiency on the on aim shot. So that's gonna be an aim shot. Oh no! My pet is having a hard time keeping aggro, actually. Okay. Oh please, pet! Ouch! I'm gonna die, actually. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't get aggro, I'm gonna die. Wow. Huh. Maybe his focus was just really low, or... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe just got, like, a lot of misses? I think I was level 48. My pet's level 52. Shouldn't... Shouldn't be that... That bad for, for getting aggro, but... Oh, there's one dark shaman. Okay, unless uh, unless there's some sort of like weird aggro thing, that could happen. That's definitely possible. Like unlikely, but at least possible. Okay, get in there. There's the melee weave. Oh, that's a torn. So the torn and uh, do like the torn enemies have big hitboxes, just like the torn players? I don't know. There we go. Get that melee weave off. And then one more melee. Okay. That should have been a name shot, but it was okay. This is the guy was dead. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Am I going to be doing this for, like, a lot? Am I going to be doing this for a long time? The thing about these is they, they don't have a lot of armor, so they die pretty easily, but... Uh, I still do need to be doing, like, good damage. Like, I can't just only say man uh, melee weave. That felt like it took a long time. Okay. Went a little bit past that. Yeah. A little bit past that one too. Like, uh, that guy's doing pretty good damage to my pet. So I hope my pet doesn't die. I think I'll be okay. Now this other guy coming. Don't like that at all. Did my pet die for real? Oh, and I don't have enough- ooh, that's not good. Not enough for Fane. Please. Just let me- Just let me Fane death. 
Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to do that without um, without mana. That was that was a mistake because I just I can't do enough DPS without my mana. I need my mana. Basically, is how that works. So I'll res my pet. Well, at least I have the the improved revive pet. I think that's a great ability. I think that's really good, actually. Like, it's a good talent because you know what stuff happens, right? Like, what are, what are you competing in in this in this row? You're not competing against very much. Like, improve aspect of the monkey. Like, maybe if you want to do like PvP and you actually want to, oops. Uh, you actually do want you, you know maybe you'd want something like that, but for normal like raiding and leveling and stuff. I feel like you're not gonna need that too often. Okay. Ooh, flip that. Uh... Oh, my pet's gonna die again. By the way, let's just heal him. <laughs> I don't wanna. Like, I can heal him now, and that'll probably be just about as much man. I mean, it's more. It's less mana than healing him, like reviving him, right? And then I don't have to wait on him to feed either. Okay. Oh, he leveled, so I got all his health back. When they level, do they get do they get uh, happiness? Does anybody know? I guess probably not, right? But I don't know. It's not like uh, when you level one that they. Yeah, I don't think they get full happiness. Can't really any, think of any reason why that would be the case. See, so I got, I did get one guy in here. They could potentially have the item that I need. How does that work? If you get, if you have an item drop and, and let's let's say this guy has it, but I haven't looted him yet. Uh, yeah. So there were a lot of guys in here. I don't really want to do that right now. While there's still guys out here, getting guys in the caves is a bit spooky because uh. Okay. I think maybe I'm not good enough at melee weaving yet to do weaving whenever I have rapid fire on, but I'll give it a shot. Like, yeah, I don't know. And that should have been a name shot. Dang it. Okay. And now... Now my, uh, multi-shot's up. Okay. And my aim, my rapid fire is done. Every, every one of these just... It just hurts. Every one of them hurts. But so, so if you, if you have if you if you have a quest item, especially like a one-time drop quest item, but I think it'd be generalized. If you have a quest item and an enemy, you kill an enemy, but you do not loot them. What happens to that quest item? What goes on there? Like, is the quest item generated on death, or is it generated on loot? Yes, he did not get the heal off. Excellent. Like, if they don't get the heal off, it's even easier. So, like, could you, theoretically, you kill something, and let's say it would have had... If you looted it, it would have the item. But if you don't loot it, and you get, keep going killing other guys... Can you ever find the item, or does it not work that way? There's my six spot. Okay. Get my aim shot going. There we go. Instantly turn around. Instantly turn around. Aim shot. Got resisted on that. That's good. Okay. Turn around as quickly as possible. Get that off. Now, aim shot. Are there any times like this where... I'm gonna come back and not have like an aim shot ready, or a multi shot, or is that kind of the idea that like every time? Ooh, well, I didn't get that aim shot off. No, my pet's gonna die because of it. Ooh, close. Man, did I do anything like really wrong there? I didn't get it. I didn't get a multi shot off. Did was my pet at full health? Gosh, just thinking about <laughs> thinking about these guys, you know. They do. They do the big damages. Is is what it. That's what it appears to me. They do. They do pretty significant damage. I think there's just no getting around that. They hurt. See, maybe I'll go up, up, up a little bit higher. 
Like, there's a lot around here, and so I don't want to accidentally pull extra. That's that's a big no-no whenever stuff does this much damage, and you pull you pull an extra one. I mean, the ultimate thing that happens is, is not the worst. I mean, I just... I, my pet might die, and, like, I have to feign death, right? That's probably about the worst thing that can happen. But, uh, yeah. I was just wondering right there, what did that mean? Why did my... Can I, can we, can we do like a clip of that real quick? Let's see. Can we get a clip of that? I just want to see that real quick. I just want to see that real quick. Uh, clip. I just want to see that real quick. Okay. We'll just pause that. Like, I have to faint. Okay. Hopefully that's okay. Ooh, these guys spawning. <laughs> I just want to see that, if that, uh... Maybe I can show that to someone and someone will know what that means. What I was talking about is the the, the, the the weapon swing timer, it like just kept going back out to white after the aim shot. And that might be a common thing, I'm not sure. I might have to try to find out if uh, people have been asking about it before. Um... I used to intimidate. Okay. Do this. Oh, missed that aim shot. That's no good. Sweet spot. That's good. Go in here, and then the next one's gonna be aim shot. And then I'll go in. And then the next one will be multi shot. And then I'll go in. And then the next one's gonna be aim shot. And then I'll go in. And then the next one after that should be multi-shot, right? Yeah, this way, this actually makes a lot of sense to me. That actually makes the rotation, like, pretty smooth, right? If I do it like this... If I do, I believe this is, like, the max... The max weave. Every time you come out, you have an ability to use. I don't know if that's correct or not. So far, that seems to be the case. But the mobs don't last that long. If the mobs lasted any longer, my pet would die, <laughs> and then I wouldn't be able to keep testing. It's kind of a kind of a weird, weird thing. I guess maybe like a right now the best I could do is like get an instance. Okay, let's try. Let's try not melee weaving during auto shot just a little bit or during rapid fire. Okay. Ooh. Okay. There my. Aim shot's gonna go off. Maybe he won't be able to heal. Yes! Does that guy cheat? Does he cheat and cast like an instant? Is it instant chain lightning? Or like, is it an instant? Is it just like a shock type move? What's he got? Spirited Sand. Sandalar. Is he able to kill guys in there? You think? Right, he's going in there. I'm gonna ask him. Wanna group? Oh nice. I couldn't remember if you if you get into a group, does you do you get the tag on something? I'll ask him what he's looking for. Uh, I'm looking for the prayer of the loon. What quest are you on? I should have looked at the drop rate of that thing. I don't know if this is like one of those quests that takes forever or what. Maybe he just likes to kill these guys, huh? So what, uh... For the symbol? Okay. These guys shot both. So that's fine. And still. Yep. Let's get that guy. They should drop both, so maybe maybe he'll get his before I get mine, but that's okay. Get that in there. Now I'll do my aim shot. Oh, the guy's giving me sunders. I like that. Do I see his loot? I think I will, right? Get 
get into the right range. Okay. This guy, he's like trying to pull all like smart and stuff. I'm just like, let's do it. Oh, I missed that. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, I missed that too? What's going on, man? And then he dazed me? Hey, don't, don't daze me, bro. That one went off, at least. Okay. Maybe I'll get this stun off. Is that guy in defensive stance? Nice. I mean, yeah, might as well. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and bandage my pet a little bit. He had the right idea by pulling, just pulling one by one, because this is these guys do hurt. They do quite a bit of damage. That guy's eaten. He got shrunk. I haven't seen the shrink too many times. I know when I first was doing this, I, I did get some. But uh, I haven't noticed it too much recently. Okay. Let's see if we can keep doing some sweet, sweet melee weaves. That felt like just a little bit off. That felt better. I don't, oh well, yeah, if he heals, I'll get the same shot off, so that's good. Geomancer down there. Get this guy, I think. Sweet spot. Uh, dead zone? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Sometimes they moved forward just a little bit, and it's enough of, it's enough of a problem that you have to not do it. Ooh, did not get that multi-shot off. Still turned out okay, but uh, was not, still not ideal, I, I would say. Is this a uh, water elemental gonna be a problem? I don't know. Oh, don't slow me. Uh, prayer of the loon. It's from guy up above. You want to get quest? I think you can. No chain. Yeah, I think we should be able to do that. Okay. Here we go. And get this nice aim shot off. There we go. Multi shot. Okay. Now another aim shot. And then he should be done. I'll go in for like maybe one more one more weave, yeah. If it doesn't get a full weave, um, does this add on or does this weak or collect anything? I don't know. Like will it will it display if there's no No full weave? Yeah, so so far, still pretty bad, just about all the time. But uh, again, if I, I I could do some like more, more explicit analysis and really see like maybe get like a percentage. Later. Person asks, "Is this my main or my alt?" Just a main for me. Just, uh, just, just haven't leveled up yet. <laughs> How about you? Oh, nice. I'm trying. Good. Been trying to do melee weaving. Does he have Crusader on there? Other quest is up this hill. Yeah, what uh, like what weapons? Uh huh. I only do that for leveling my weapons. I mean, hey, why not? I mean, that's like when it's least effective, but still. Mm 
Let's see here. That off. Go ahead and try to get one. That, that, I, I hesitated on that. I definitely hesitated and it made it not as good. Okay, that's that guy needs to... I don't want to be in that. Okay. Is that guy doing okay? Yeah. I don't know how my pet's doing though. Okay. Oh, wow. What did he do? <laughs> he really got that guy. There at the end. Ouch. Okay. Maybe I'll pull this guy back a little bit. Nope. Uh, does AQ40 on his hunter? That's his name. Oh man, I missed that. Saw so thing said like it's best. It's best to just keep trying. Like keep going in there if you miss. This guy. Let's see. I think I can pull just this guy by myself. Gonna try to. Oh, I resisted easy game. Just get in there. Just just resist. Just resists all the all the things. LOL forehead. So easy. Okay. So I think I'm gonna try to do that. I'm not sure if okay. But the other I thought the other guy would pull too. Oh, I don't have any mana. That was a mistake. Oh well, I will drink after this. I was really gonna try to do some good. That was too far. Really gonna try to do some good melee. There we go. Really focusing on it. Is that okay? 2.73, I got into the, the range where it says, you know, uh, light green. Or yellow green, I guess. So that's good. Okay, this guy should be able to pull just by himself. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh. Got extra. Uh, that's not what I want at all. Gonna have to take that a little bit easier. Yeah, that's not good. I don't know if I'll be able to heal my pet. <laughs> Let's just heal my pet, like as much as possible, basically, while we're doing this. Because uh, the, the other guy's doing damage, so if I just heal my pet, we should be fine. Okay, that was a mistake. At first, I, I really did think I got all of them immediately, and then I didn't, so I, like, multi-shot it, and that was... Why did I multi-shot? <laughs> that was the exact wrong thing to do. Oh, man. It's okay. There's a Thorium vein up there. Okay. Let's <laughs> pull this guy back. Okay. That's much better. <laughs> much more controlled. Oh, jeez. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just try to do things and they don't work out so well. Let's see. Let's see if I can just pull this guy by himself. Yeah, I'm surprised. Stop. 
keep thinking I'll double pull, but they aren't linked. So I do wonder about the melee, the multi-shot, and if that impacts anything like negatively, as far as like the timings are concerned. This I should have quest. Gotta get a lot of these guys. I was not prepared for that. What's the what's the drop rate? It feels like those ogres. That's what it reminds me of. But I was I just doing the ogres in Stranglethorn Barrel Vale and like the Moshog Ogre Mound. I have the there's other a couple of quests associated. I did it like really inefficiently. I did one and like cleared all the way through. Drops from all the elites around here. Yep. Go ahead and get that. Okay. Good. Can you align it? Okay, I'm gonna grab this real quick. Do some more stuff. One. <laughs> uh, I asked if he's a minor. He said he's a senior. Hilarious. I like it. I do like it. I'll be honest. I like that. That was like kind of maybe partially wasted. Uh... Man, that 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 auto shot didn't even look like it went off at all. Okay, I got got pretty well smashed. Okay, this one here. Fire guard. Kind of think I should. Oh, there's a chest. Uh, terrain. Very awkward terrain. Wait, how does this guy have fairy fire? What is this? Phantom Strike. Huh. Is that one of these weapons, I guess? What is that? Phantom Blade. Yeah, so it's like a... That's cool. Hanzo Sword. Is that like really good? Like really BOE, BOE? Yeah, probably just... Get that guy all the good stuff. I mean, why not? There's like nothing, nothing really to spend gold on after a certain point, right? Like you just give give your alts all the good gear. Like he's got Crusader, Crusader and Fiery. I don't know if there's a chest here. It should just roll for whatever's in there, right? Oh, there's nothing. Some bread. <laughs> All right. The the does the loot shared? I guess not. Not in a. Well, I got it. It's much easier with one other person. It's definitely much easier that way. Like I could do. Uh, Bestial Wrath here, but I feel like by the time I cast it, because I was doing Aim Shot, by the time I cast it, it's just gonna not even, not even be relevant. I like that this guy's doing Sunder and Armor. Okay. Let's 
So, you know, the nice thing about a pet? Oh. What? Usually, on one quest item, everyone can load. <laughs> what is that? How many examples are there like that? Where <laughs> there's only one singular quest item and, and not everyone can loot it. Like, how common is that? I guess I'll just clear these guys some more. Maybe by the time, uh... Maybe by the time that we, uh, that we clear all these, I'll get it too. <laughs> I don't know. Bizarre. Okay, get that off there. Really be paying attention to that. Nice. That should've been an aim shot. Man, how lucky is that guy? He gets it. I've been doing this. There. Come on, pet. Get him. Get him. Okay. There we go. Let's get a little aggro. That should have been an aim shot. I mean, a uh, multi shot, actually. And that should have been an aim shot. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Just gonna drink first. Like this guy, I've been doing it since before he came here. And then he, he comes and... I mean, I've been doing it already for like, what? 10 minutes or so? And he comes. The waltz is in air. Gets it first try. Not really first try, but gets it pretty early. I'll say at least. Make me look like a fool. that go off? I don't know. I, I guess maybe I didn't hit the button? I don't know how that didn't go off, actually. That makes... Literally makes no sense to me how that didn't go off. Oh, there's another one there. I'm just gonna just find out to get that one. Get that one to go away. So I can focus on this guy. Because I don't really want to deal with two of them. Where did that person come from? Sometimes if I crit, it could be kind of a problem, I guess. Can you... Nope. I was hoping that my pet would just get aggro. Nope. <laughs> it's like every time I, I get another auto shot off, it's just enough threat to pull it to me. Uh, the ping-ponging, kind of okay, though. Ugh. Uh, I don't have it, right? Oh, I have it. <laughs> but the dirt in is far away. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, man. Where I gotta take it to? Turn in. Done. Oh, that's nice. That's what a nice guy says good luck and good hunting you know because he has a hunter main that's nice very friendly i've had uh i don't think i've had any toxic like really i don't think i've had any toxic uh things like uh uh group member is not toxic to me one person there was a mistake and like marred on like one person it was like a warlock the warlock didn't like pull their pet back and as a result we wiped essentially and the person is like you know said you know like the tank was like hey pull your pet pet back and the person i guess wasn't paying attention and then we wiped and like that 
that warlock was doing pretty low DPS. I don't know what you have to do to do good, to do good DPS as a warlock. Especially when you're leveling, so I don't know if that's difficult to do. I know on, like, say, retail, if you try it, like, you just can't do anything because everything dies so fast if you do, like, group content, but I don't really think that was the case here. Probably just didn't really have a great idea what to do. Or it could be that uh, warlocks just don't do very good damage until later when they get more, say, spell powered. Spell power gear. So, yeah. But that, that was, like, the only time I can remember that. I don't. What, is he, what do these mean? I don't even know what those mean. The little messages. Uh, the beast from whence. The beast returns from, from whence it came. The wrath of Nephilon has subsided. So isn't that, like, the same thing that Nephilon says in the instance? But I have, I've, I've had a, I mean, I've done a, a, an okay amount of group, group content. There's iron that can spawn here, from iron to, to small thorium. That's quite the jump, you know. What is iron skill like 130 and small thorium's like 255 or something like that? Where am I going? I'm going over here to this outhouse. But that was about the only, you know, kind of toxic remark I saw, and it was okay, you know. After that, the person was like, eh, and you know, we all came back to life, and we cleared the, we cleared the instance, you know, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was at Mardon, it was, like, two pools before Princess, you know, I think that may have kind of contributed, we were almost to the end, right? But we didn't quite get there without, uh, without any hiccups. So that, that was, can I think of any other, like, time people didn't really, like, actually been kind of toxic, you know? And that's just that's just frustration coming out, you know. People obviously get frustrated. I, under, I understand that, but it's like really warlock, really, you know, is what the person said. That's how I interpreted it. Maybe. And the the thing is, they didn't just stop there. They said like one or two more things. Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah, the geologist as well. As well, I was like, I have the cloth. What do you, what are you telling me to do? Okay. I'll just clear out everything here. Just clear it all out. That was not like the greatest start. Oh no, get in there. Please? Okay. I took like three tries before I got my attack off. I don't know why. These guys are pretty weak, so I should just be able to like... Do whatever I want with them, right? Yep, there we go. I mean, goodness gracious. Oh, that guy's messed up. Okay. Like messed up as in he's he's glitched. Oh, what? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. <laughs> uh, that was a that was some strange aggro that just occurred. Now, see, this is this is like the the nicest way to melee weave. When you just, you got two guys going, easy peasy. Please? What? You, are you, are you done? Can we, can we just do the normal stuff? <laughs> I've pulled this guy three times now. He's not even like really the mob I need. I need the, I think I should give the scroll of protection to my pet. I think so. Okay, let's just go. Okay. These guys are so low level though. Like I don't even, it's almost, it almost feels like it's not, ooh, big crit. Almost not even worth it to try to melee weave on him. Is it ever not worth it to melee weave? Nah, it's always worth it. Look at me being silly. Not worth it to melee weave. Am I even a hunter? The last guy said that he played a hunter and that he, he only melee weaves when he's uh, leveling weapons. So once you get your weapon all the way maxed, and your weapon could actually do good damage more consistently, you stop. So this, this is my good weaves. I wonder if every single, I think every single time I've had like a good good weave like that, it has been because I'm actually melee weaving with someone, with uh, an enemy literally right next to me. I think so far that is actually the case. I almost wonder if that would pull that golem. 
Did it, it didn't hit. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are so wimpy compared. You know, and I was, it, for one thing. Yeah, like I was fighting elites, and for another thing, these are, guys are just low level. Gonna hit both. Excellent. Yeah, I'll parry you. Get my parry haste going. This is great. So I, th I think I still can. I, I keep thinking about it. I keep thinking, what am I gonna do? And I do believe I can still use my results here. The ones that get full. Um, they get the whole melee weave off. Those should still be okay. As far as seeing. How much I, like, how well I did. And that means that, huh, I need to see, like, if I start, if I start a weave, okay, and then we get in here. So that was the 4.12, and then it's like I get in here, and I go out, and I go back in, or like, whatever. Like, does that get over here? Wait until this guy gets done, and then we'll see. No. At least not on that guy. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. Can I get you? Do my do my warrior impression right here. Like, if only my pet could, like, actually come here. Because, you know, you can all, A lot of times you can... Uh, when they're stuck like this, when the mob's stuck like this, you can get your pet to attack them if you position them just right. But this, this time my owl is just... deciding he doesn't want to play. He doesn't want to play along. Okay. I wonder why that happens. He was kind of near that tent. I don't know if he was kind of... Okay, there's... Okay, that's just that guy, right? This is the only place where those geologists are, right? Are there any other places? I don't remember any other places where the geologists are. Like, why... Why would you have a quest that you have to have everything spawn, like, multiple times just to clear it out? Ah, no. Who knows what they're... Who knows what the quest designers were thinking at this point in a while, you know? kind of oh my gosh i went in for that while i had rapid fire active and i didn't even get it off like <laughs> that's a really bad feeling going in doing a melee weave while you have rapid fire active so you're like you're like saying basically like yes i do believe i can get this done and okay so this this result right here that should be tossed out right like that's gonna totally destroy a lot of a lot of the data. Like if I have something like that, like that's just if I look back at it, I'll be like, oh, okay, I see what happened. I actually was just trying to see if it would work, and it it I don't know exactly what happens. It does something. So let's see, let's, I forgot about what I was doing. So let's see if I can get that. So 3.97 was this one. Attack, move in, and you move out. Okay. And so the next thing would be getting out of the dead zone and to uh, um, um, to range and casting your auto shot, right? So let's see if I can do that. Any, anything else I can just do while I'm waiting for these to spawn? Yeah, I can get a spider or two, I guess. I dismounted way too early. Don't know why I dismounted that early. Okay. So now... Yeah, it's a, it said 38.02 there. For, like, no no clear reason. So those sort of things are gonna, like... You know what? Really gonna be bad for my data. Yeah, 16. Yeah, so that's... If you stop in between a mob... Yeah. 
So I might have to like just toss out anything that's like say greater than 10. Just filter those out if I'm doing my data. And so a lot of times when you're doing data, if you have like first-hand knowledge of what's going on in that data, that is great. Because then you can you can make, you can know what maybe you should do with the data. Because sometimes you just get like a data set. You just have this big group of data. And you're like, I don't know, you know, I don't know anything about this data really. Like, you know, maybe, maybe I'm using say CompuStat to get information about securities, uh, security prices. That's a big one that's used in say uh, finance and accounting uh, research. I'm too close, too close still. And uh, but the, and there's a lot of problems with that CompuStat data just in general. Like there's a there's a a, a whole lot of problems that people have uh, have noted over time. Are there any down there? Yeah, that is a geologist. So we'll go ahead and do that. But if you don't like, like you, what you can do is you can go and you can look at most of the data that's in there and you could theoretically like correct it because it's, it. Uh, so like the CompuStat data, it, it takes data from say like annual reports, for example, and it just, it, it gathers it all up and puts it in one place and then you can use that information. Uh, no, that's not stock prices. Uh, fundamentals is the word, sorry, fundamentals. Crisp is for stock prices, not what, spider meat? Not a, not CompuStack. CompuStack is fundamentals like uh, assets, liabilities, earnings, things like that. Crisp is uh, stock prices. Center for research stock pricing? I don't know. Whoever has it makes a lot of money <laughs> off of it, I'm pretty sure. I think it's like the Wharton School, right? Is the one who makes it? Or who has the access to that? Okay, get that guy. Come here, are you gonna come here? Oh, he's, he has a ranged attack, okay. I was like, what is he doing? Well, I guess I'll just, I'll cast aim shot at him. Yeah. And that's gonna do it, <laughs> that's a big shot. Uh, going against low level guys. It's pretty easy. Okay. Please, I want that pole. I wonder if I'm going to get aggro for something spawning on that trap. Probably not. I just saw where they spawned, so they probably won't go through. But if you if you like have a if you have a data set, you know, it, it would be good if you could can you do that while mounted, please. It would be good if you could uh 50 and 50 ledger from Tenaris. Tenaris again. Everything, it all, it all comes back to Tenaris. You know, it just does. Uh, where do I gotta do it? Find some stuff. And a few other places? So I have, do I have to like read that? To see what I need to do? Ledger from Tenaris? Take the copy and then find the items listed in it. Gold steel ledger, solid crystal leg shaft, overdue package, gold steel's balance flamberge, 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 flamberge. Is it French or is it like German? Berg, it's like mountain in German, but berge seems much more French to me. Uh, in Tenaris, in Gadgetzan, I was looking for here in Syrian Gorge and a few other places. Oh, did he did he put something down or something? Okay, yeah, it's here. <laughs> that's silly. Oh, that's <laughs> Oh man. I like that. Okay. Oh man. Yep. Following pages. Glass webs. Oh, okay. So that's what they're used for. Uh, overdue package. 
and from Theramore. You know, this is a thing, this is one of those, it, you, go, you gotta go all over the place. Theramore, right? So Theramore is at least a little bit close to Gadget's hand. Beazle, is that Beazle's wreck? Yeah. And then... Blacksmithing. Murloc name Jarquai. Swamp of Sorrows. Man. The Swamp of Sorrows, actually, that's the one that's the hardest to deal with. Because that's like... There's no reason to go there. No reason at all. Where's this going? Uh, yeah. So I got the thing, and then I can go back in there. I got the mysterious artifact. Is there a way to go, like, around this? I need to... Actually, I need to go... I need to go here. One of those... One of those down there. So I should go this way. Ish. Something something like this. I don't know if I've gotten any better at the melee weaving. That's why that's why I really want to do this measurement and then like analysis on it. So then I can actually have some some sort of view, like am I improving? Like, I hope I am, but, you know, anytime I, like, my focus goes any, that could cause negative effects. Totally, I, mean, I was talking about the data, like, I'm totally going to throw out, like, these that are over 10 seconds. I, I just don't think they're really representative of, like, what's normally happening. Will this hit both? No, that's unfortunate. That's not really unfortunate, it's just, it's just not good. May Larry, please? Okay. Or not? That should hit both, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they are both off to the races. Gosh. Look at them going. That guy got a guy. Just gonna give him a whack there. And see, like that. I don't even know what to say about that, really. I'm right next to that, that guy. He doesn't care. He's just watching me get get the guys that work for. He's like, you know what? I'm not I'm not touching that. You know, I'm just not. It's a good idea, really. Big red, big red owl going. Big red bird. Okay. That should be it, right? Yeah. So I definitely got to think about the data that I want to use. Like that's not really representative. Like clearly that something was going on there. So I don't I don't actually I don't actually want to use that in my data pool. Cuz that's just that just there was obviously something something else happening. And it's not really going to be getting at the question I want to know. The question is am I improving at my melee weaving? Is my and to be more quantifiable, am I taking less time on average to do my melee weaves? Right? That's really what I want to know. So if I if I take that into consideration like that that those those ones are over 10 seconds i'm not really going to be knowing if i'm doing better because that's not that's not really like that's i got i attacked a mob and i went in and meleeed them and that was the last thing and then i melee i auto shot something else and just the pattern that the weak ore is looking for got caught there and that's why uh I can totally see why people, when they're saying if you want to improve, you should go to Dharmal North and do the spirits. Because you can just keep doing the spirits forever, right? Like, that's way better. Way better than what I'm doing here. But this is, like, what I have access to now, because I'm not max level. And I want to get the skill going, you know? I think it. I think it's, you know, it's good to try it out now. While I'm, even while I'm leveling, you know? I'm, I'm pretty close to max level. Yep. I'm level uh, 53 now. Probably could have done that a little bit better. There we go. Usually there's a lot of uh, stuff to mine around here. That's nice. Yeah. So, like, I couldn't go back out. Because this guy got on me. Yep. 
guess I should be like using intimidation a little bit more often, I suppose. Like I kind of like to save it for when there's like two guys on me, but or like one guy on me and one guy on my pet. So after I get the guy, I get done shooting the guy, my pet can come and help me out. I think maybe I get aggro less often. Uh on on these guys cuz they're or my pet loses aggro on these guys cuz my pet doesn't have the outside you know bestial swiftness actually. I wonder if it's that important. Because uh you know having a 30% increased time gosh they're fast. That's significant. That means they start attacking Sooner. Oh. Okay, well, I should just get this guy. I'm running low on mana, right? Yeah, fairly low. I'm not sure about the needing the like the other swing timer. Like the melee swing timer. I'm not sure how helpful that is. Just stun him. Just stun him for me, please. Inktar. Thank you. Nope, not even out of mana to do that. Slow him down. <laughs> it's just endless chain, endless chain pulls if you can't slow him down. Basically, is what it amounts to until you pull the whole everything. Well, at least, at least I can try to do some good. Oh well, just get some good practice on the melee weaving, but because I have no mana, right? So that's. Ooh, didn't get that off. Got that one. Trying to really as quickly as I can. Like that that didn't even at that point it didn't even say it. I guess there is something to be said for okay, those were pretty good actually. Those were those were in the good range. Yeah, that's nice. That was it was like intense focus, no using uh, shots though. So maybe not that represented. But even you know, all this when I'm looking at it, a lot of them are still, you know, it's, it's around three three seconds? So, three seconds, if I take three seconds to go in, I'm essentially pushing my auto back, like, three seconds. That's like, if it, it, that's not that much, right? Not much pushback on the auto shot at all. Uh, because my auto shot is about 2 point, well, the interface is 2.92. I'm not sure if that's actually correct or if it's really, like, 2.87. Oh, whatever it is. Oh, I should drink. Oh man, I forgot to drink, and now, now I'm gonna have to get, pull everything again. There we go. Now aim shot. Back in. That melee. That was a bit slow. Okay. All right. Now I can drink. So I'll do this, and that should do what I want to do. Yeah, just go in there. You'll be fine. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. I wondered if he would come after just one multi-shot, because I feel like sometimes they don't. That, yes. I just really like it whenever... Uh, whenever I cast multi-shot, and the guy in the melee range is actually close enough to get hit, so that multi shot hits both. Because then that, that makes it really mana efficient, and you know it does more damage. It's just great. Just feels good. Yeah, like that just made my. I think I also should probably filter out results that are like say less than 2.5, because I don't think any of them that are less than 2.5 are really what I'm actually doing. The ones that are 2.5 or is that thorium on like that must be up there somewhere. It's not down here. The so results that are less than 2.5 are not me doing really well. This one is questionable. That 2.65, I don't know. I'd have maybe have to look back at it. And I wonder if I'm trying to get this information say from the VOD. It's an awful lot of work. <laughs> You know, gotta go back and like, I was looking at it a little bit to see how that would go, and it's like, look back and then, um... 
Oh, is that a... No, that's a green guy. The altar's empty. Is this gonna mess it up? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so it's like two level 51 elites? I can try it. I have my cooldowns. Let's see, uh... What can I do? Theoretically... Oh. oh. Yeah, I did think you were dead. I'm sorry. I can go back here and kite at least a little bit. But, uh... I don't know how well that'll go. Yep, surge through my being. Okay. They got to do all this RP. Okay. He has to activate this, right? I don't know. We'll see if this works or not. I'm, I wonder if I can slow him. If I can slow him, that'll help. Okay. Let's see how this goes. And yeah, I mean, I guess I should, should, should melee. Oh, that's not good. Owl is dying. Owl is dying a lot. Okay. So, and the kiting... The kiting is looking like a big nope. We'll just go ahead and feign death. Okay, or we just won't. You know, clearly hit the button. And then I was dead. Like, I, I was like, oh, he, he damaged me. I will stop. But then... Apparently you can wait for, like, one of them to despawn. So maybe I'll try that, doing that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Or I might just try to get a group. I'm not sure. I think that's, I, I don't know if I want to try messing around with that. It's, it's hard to clear a space. Like, it's hard to clear through there. Like, I was thinking kiting. What does he do? He just attacked. Ground smash, knock away, thrash. I think he, he might have stunned me, like, twice. The the big guy. So that, I think that's what got me. He just stunned me and then stunned me again when I tried to feign death, so I couldn't do anything about it. That's just unpleasant, you know? Oh well. Sometimes I'm not I'm not very good at like planning out what I should do when on like an elite like that the first time. <laughs> A lot of the times I'm just like, let's go in there and then it doesn't work and I'm like, hmm, maybe. <laughs> maybe I should do something a little bit differently. That is Rise Obsidian, huh? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. You have to do like a lot of elite stuff, so. Get this helmet. That's what I want. That's why I'm like considering doing this. It's a pretty good helmet. Like there's some, there's definitely some other helmets that are even better right now, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Thought about doing that. Hmm. For a moment it looked okay, but then that the obsidian guy, I just kept pumping out the damage. This is, uh, oh no, I thought I was there. I was like, where's my, where's my body? Or my corpse? Okay. Well, here I am. Let's get the pet up. Start giving him some food. I'll drink. I think they said like one of these are one of these will despawn. I don't know which one despawns. And then if they because if they despawn, I could I could make that work. I think it's like what what do you, what is the order? Someone said. Let me look at this quest real quick. See if I can... Uh, let's see... Group 
because obsidian. <laughs> Why not? And then, uh, let's see. Rise obsidian. Yeah. There's some people talking about talked about soloing it. Okay. It days my days my owl. Okay. Like everything is so easy until you come in here and then you gotta get that guy. <laughs> Yeah, that's not easy. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is, there's, a, there's an order. Okay. Oh! Yeah, okay. So you can actually get the guy before he spawns. That's so silly. I can just wait, and he'll die, or despawn. And then you can, while he's doing his RP, you can actually just get him. Isn't that funny? Because he's like, apparently has an alliance with uh, Booty Bay. So I just turned that to at war. <laughs> And apparently that still works in classic. I love that. That's so fun. Let me turn my tracking on. Is that guy still like alive? Dying archaeologist? No. Okay. So I think, uh, like by myself, I should be able to get just this guy, right? Shouldn't be that hard. Like a level 52 elite? I mean, hard being like, you know, okay. A bit of a thought, right? Like, okay, it's not gonna be super easy, sure. I don't see the the one guy with him. Okay. So we just go in there and just smash him, right? Make sure I have all my mana. And uh, do the damages. Make sure my pet's got full health. Uh, yeah, I don't see the guy. So let's, uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it up. And just do, do some good melee weaving, naturally. I'm not gonna do it during the, during the rapid fire. Well, maybe I will a little bit. Oh, I missed. That makes me feel pretty bad. Okay. Ooh, I do not spam that, apparently. How's my how's my pet doing? He's doing pretty bad, actually. So let's heal him a little bit. Does quite a bit of damage. Well, and there's all my... All my mana. And there's my pet's dead. Can I, can I, uh... No, he's not able to be... Oh, my pet's not dead. Wait, what? Oh, that was a mistake. I should have stayed down. That was bad. Well, let's just get out of here then. I could theoretically kite him. If I was uh, smart about it. Nope. Where are we gonna go, guy? Where do you wanna go? You know? It's not about what I want. Okay, well. Did he leash? He must- I don't know if he leashed or if, uh... Or if I messed up with my- By not attacking him in too long. I think he might just not have attacked him in too long of a time. A uh, bit awkward there. Yeah, he does uh, does pretty big damage. I'm level 53, he's level 52. Hmm. Not a whole lot of room to kite, and the thing is, stuff spawns here a lot. Poor, poor owl. Hmm. I thought my owl's dead. <laughs> Oh, he's dead now, obviously, but I thought he was dead before. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to try to do with this. Do I want to, like, shoot? Do I want to clear a path and then do some, like, actual kiting and be like a hunter? There's no real clear place to take him. That's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of worried about. 
Where am I gonna take him? Oh, this Clamette surprise. Eat that a little bit. And drink. Hmm. I, I think I'll see if I can just kite him. Can't be slowed, but that's not a huge deal necessarily. And can I can I sting him? My sting is kind of hard to reach. Let's see. Let's see about clearing out these guys a little bit. And just uh, just do some good damage on these guys so we can clear them out relatively quickly. That was really far. Okay. Just really focus on clearing out the ones that like patrol around. Like this guy. Just get him close. Get him close like that. And then, you know, like I could use an Intimidate because I'm not going to need Intimidate on the guy because I it looked like he might have been immune to it. Yeah. Alright. Thought I saw here this guy. We'll just clear out. See if we can clear the way out here. If I can get them out a ways, then I might be able to just keep kiting them. I know, like, there's, like, the stairs. And, of course, there's, you know, with all this terrain, there's probably a place I could take them that I could just really cheese it, you know? Like, really just cheese it. Have some weird uh, terrain sort of collision that I could use to my advantage. I could totally see something like that. I really just want to use, like, okay. I want to be doing the DPS so I can just get through these guys as quickly as possible. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work, but, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of nice to try these things like this, you know? Sweet spot. I always get turned around here. I really don't want to get turned around when I'm actually doing like the, the kite. That would be not good. It'd be not, it would not be good. Aha! My bleed is removed. Okay, so you get through here. Click this. Like, I can probably just walk past most of these guys, right? Because I'm high enough level. Let's see. Let's, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I was able to walk past that guy. Uh, that's a bit questionable right there. Yeah. I love my owl, though. Look, he's keeping, keeping aggro on that. That's great. Uh, okay. Come here, Owl, please. What is this? What is this? Why is this? Like, they, they see one guy get taken care of, and they're just, just like, no. I'm gonna run everywhere. Uh, go ahead and get that guy, because he probably shouldn't have too much aggro. Okay. This guy's kind of hurting me. Ah, click him. Okay, stun him, please. Okay. Just that one stun's enough to get aggro. That's great. Okay, and there's like a heavy war golem out there, I think. I'm very nearly dead. Anything else that like I would really need to clear to get through here? I guess not. Let's go ahead and bandage, and then I guess drink. And see if this works. I don't know if this is going to work. This seems like I'd give this a pretty low chance of succeeding, but who knows. 
Won't know until you try it. Ugh. You know, sometimes I, I've definitely kited a few things. A few things. Not not like anything really amazing. Like, I saw people talking about, like, there was somebody posting the Wild Classic Hunter Discord, like, all these different possible things that you can kite. No, that's creative now. They had, like, a list and, like, where to take it and stuff like that. I was like, okay, yeah. That sounds great. Do I just, like, stand still for that? Okay, so I think I cleared everybody out, like all the slavers and stuff. I just want to see if I can get this guy, if I can kite this guy away. I think that'd just be cool, if I can manage that. Now yeah, I've got my aspect of the cheetah with like the buff, or the talent that lets me move a little bit faster. Yep. Oh, and of course now my pet needs to be pet again. Man, that day's looks less so long. Yeah, I'll just figure I'll just melee him. Or, uh, not melee him, because he's gonna be dead soon. And I guess I could that guy. Oh, no, did he despawn? Oh, I guess you have a limited amount of time then. Hmm. And you gotta watch the RP? Huh. Well, that's, uh... It's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> hmm. I'll try one last time. See what happens. Okay, just run away. Run away. Okay. Like, I wonder, can I just kite one of them, or...? Well, first of all, let's see, just see if I can kite them. And... Is it... Can he... Yes, he can take sting damage, so... That's good. There we go. Just occasionally do, like, an auto shot on him. Feels like the auto shot takes a long time sometimes. Oh no 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 no! Oh, seriously? Seriously, guy, you gotta do me like that? Really? <laughs> oh man! There, I'm gonna whack you. I don't like you. I don't like you at all right now, guy. It was looking like maybe something could happen. Nope. Just gonna spawn and ruin my fun. You too. You too, guy. You gotta pay too, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Don't you net me, though. Okay. Give him a little poke. Okay. Now let's, uh... Yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah, nice. I think if I just... Uh, if I just use my... Yeah, that's great, actually. If I use my uh, auto shot macro, it should not have the... Uh, I should not have to wait for the retry timer, because I have, like, slash auto shot. Okay. I want to not mess this up. Go through here. Oh, what? Again? Well, my pet uh, is going to sacrifice himself right here. Okay. If we can just make it out. Oh my gosh, again? 
Okay, well, I'm dead. That's not good. Yeah. That's just... I walked past him three times. At least two times. Without... without... without having any penalty. And then I try that time, and he, he catches me. That does not feel good. I think that's gonna be it. <laughs> oh no. It's probably too tiring to, you know, being a little over eager on it. Gosh. I was this close to getting out. Because once you get out of there. Once you get out of there, you can figure out some way of uh, running around. Yeah, you know, I could always take him like up here and do circles up here, you know, for example. Like just go to or go around the town. And it would be fine. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely need more practice. Hmm, could have done it. That's uh, pretty disappointing. Could have cleared things out a little bit better. Yeah, if I cleared them out a little bit better. They killed like that one more guy. Oh, that guy's not surviving next time. I tell you what, I don't need. I don't even need that. Oh well, it's going down. Yeah, that guy's not surviving next time. Definitely killing him next time. I'll kill him right now, actually. That's how I'm feeling about it. <laughs> you know. You know the nice thing about revi improved revived pet with the talent, like uh, whenever you resurrect, you have enough to revive your pet. Yeah, just go in. Let's just weave a little bit. Oh my gosh. There we go. Right in there. Ooh, a little bit. One of those was good. Elixir of greater firepower. Is that worth anything? Ooh, 20 gold. Nice. I'm almost out of water. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh that's something for another another try. Another day. Gonna come back, be a little bit stronger, be a little bit smarter about it, maybe a little bit more patient, take care of the the right things. And uh should be okay. Or maybe we'll just find a group to do it. <laughs> That'd be the easiest thing to do. Just get a few other people. Ooh. And then it's no problem at all. Definitely with uh, uh maybe not I think just one other person probably wouldn't be enough unless they're really tanky or something. I think I'm probably gonna have to be a few people. Oops. Not not hundred percent sure. These slaves, guys. You know, they run real fast. Ooh, that guy. Definitely need to clear him. Because that was... I felt like I was not very close, and he's still... Still chasing after me. Like that guy, he doesn't care. Oh, he does care. Okay. Okay. Please. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Like, how does it, uh, how does it reckon that? How does a weak aura understand whenever you're just staying still and hitting a guy? Oh, he's in the net. Okay. Like, I get here, and I go up, is my thought, but up is not 100% safe. There's these guys. This guy is basically everywhere, and if I go down there, there's those, that guy. I mean, of course I can jump down once, <laughs> but getting back up is a problem. So what I do, I'd like to run in here. 
Maybe I see those guys and just laugh and laugh and laugh hysterically. Go up around here. If I get up here, if I get up here, I think that really is like home free. Then we can just go to Thorium Point. You know, casually. And take care of it. Thorium Point's over this general direction. Yeah, you can see the flags up there, right? Okay, just straight here. Yeah, that's no problem. That's easy peasy. And once you're once you're there, you can just kite them in circles around this. Oh, whatever. 1.57. What? That was probably one where like the cooldown just, or there was no cooldown at all. Oh wait, what? Yeah, I'm not doing this. Not doing that. <laughs> Had to go around that mountain. You know, once I get here. Definitely would be easy. Cause then you could just kite it around like this. Yeah, you, know, you could even just kite around. Well, we could, could you do this? What happens if you get here? You get here and you drop off. What does it do? Does it like come down the the cliff? at you. So what would you do? You'd come over here, and you could do something like this. You need a pretty big circle to kite, I feel like. So maybe you'd go like this. Just trying to think about the kind of potential route I could take. Yeah, and then like down here, that'd probably be okay. Let me get some water. These guys sell some stuff. Yeah, that, yeah. So that's, but that's besides the point. I'm Brad Blondbeard. Good luck and have fun.